This video is an introduction into Python regular expressions or regex. A regular expression is a search pattern that we can use to find the text we need. As a quick demonstration of the power of regular expressions, I want to show you the following example. I have here a subtitles file of one of my videos. And you can see here time tags that are inside angle brackets and there are also definitions of periods of time. For example, I want to get rid of all time tags and these lines with the time periods. And the best way to complete the task is to use two short regular expressions. I press Ctrl and F to get the find panel, then I click on regex search button, and then I have to specify here the regular expression. That's the search pattern that find all time tags. I need all tags, angle brackets. Inside these tags can be any character. I put here a dot that means one character. And I have to get not only one character, but all of them. So I have to use a greedy quantifier, the asterisk. And the expression matches to all characters between opening and closing angle brackets. To get as little text as possible I have to use the question mark. And it matches to all time tags. And I want to replace all of them with an empty string. And now I want to delete all of these time periods. So I need the line that starts with a 00, zero colon. And then I need all characters to the end of line. And again, I want to replace them with an empty lines. And that's it. It's a very quick and convenient solution in this particular case. So, this video is about using of regular expressions in Python. To test my regular expressions, I like to use validators like regex101.com or Pythex. Turn on Python regular expressions. Don't worry about the version. In vast majority of cases, it will work fine. In the beginning of the input field for our regex, you can notice the R letter that stands for Python's raw strings. Python raw string treats the backslashes as a literal character and not as an escape character. I want to show you the difference. And we can see that the backslash n characters was interpreted by Python as the new line sequence characters. And that's why I got two lines. I put here the R letter. And this time backslash means just backslash. All our regular expressions patterns always should be raw strings. First of all, I want to show you some basics and then how to use regex with Python. Let's start with the digits and uh, first of all I need a test string. For example, I have to find all IP addresses in some file. All regular expressions can work like a regular search. For example, if I input here 1, the validator finds all occurrences of the 1 in the text. Like I said, it works like a regular search. We can see occurrences of 12, but not 123. It's working, but it's not a universal way of search. I need to abstract from particular numbers and get all digits in the text. And to find all digits from 0 to 9, we have to use backslash D. Backslash D means a digit, only one digit. And we can see that the validator immediately found all matches. There are 27 digits. But I don't need separated 27 digits. I need only those sequences of digits that are matched to an API address pattern. Each IP address consists of four parts. And now I have to set a quantity of digits in each part. To do it, I have to use curly brackets. And inside them, I'm specifying that I need from 1 to 3 digits. Because each part of an IP address can contain from 1 to 3 digits. Also, each part of an IP address is separated from others by a dot. To specify a dot, we can use just a dot. But a dot for regular expressions has a special meaning. 
dot stands for any character and we can explicitly set the dot by escaping it with the backslash. To get other parts, the straightforward way is to repeat the expression for each part, except the last dot like this. It's working. Now let's write a Python script and get all IPs from a file. To use regular expressions, I have to import the RE module. Then I have to open the text file and read it. And now let's define our regular expression. Then I have to use this pattern for search. And the RE module provides for that at least two methods that are used the most. I want to use the find all methods because it returns a list of all matches of the pattern and the text. And if I run the code, I'll get the list of all IPs in the text. The search method will scan entire text and will return none if there is no match. Otherwise, will return a match object for the first occurrence. To get the match, we can use the group method. Okay, then. Let's find in the text some words, an email, for example, or a Twitter. There are several ways to get non-digit characters. The first one, I can use square brackets to specify a set of characters I want to match. For example, I want to match all lowercase letters. I need all characters from A to Z or from A to E. Or let's say I need at character and the dot. In other words, inside square brackets I enumerate all characters I want to match. And it's looking like a list of these characters. If I want to find all characters except these ones, I have to use the current character before them. Or I can use the capital D. It means no digits. And it's the equivalent to this. There is also the backslash W, which means a letters in upper and lower cases, digits and underscores. It's equivalent to this. And now let's find all email addresses in a random text. Actually, it depends on the rules, but we know that any email consists of two parts. One part is before the add character and another after it. And in the most simple cases, both parts can contain words, digits, dashes and dots. But dashes and dots can present in the first parts alternatively. But it doesn't really matter now, because it's just an example. Well, I need letters, digits and underscores, so I can use a backslash and W. I need all of them, so I have to use a plus character. Plus here means at least one occurrence of the pattern left to it. Then let's add at character. And then again backslash w plus then i want to find the second part and now i need a dot and again backslash w well now i want to solve the issue with the first part that should contain alternatively dots and dashes i want to use a set square brackets and inside i'm specifying a dot then i'm using a pipe character that stands for or and then dash. Okay, it partly works, but doesn't match these emails, which have a single word in the first part, because they don't contain none of my set characters. And now I have to specify somehow that this minimal case I need too. And to get it working, I need to put after the square brackets the question mark. The question mark has a special meaning too. 
It stands for zero or one occurrence of the pattern left to it. Practically, it means that if there is no matches of the first part, it will be okay. And uh, that's why it matches all emails with a single word in the left part. So, if you like the video, please upvote it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.